Good morning, guys. It's Friday, 26th of January, 2018. This is DAX Technical Analysis uh, Summary. So we've got a couple of ideas here that we've been talking about on the DAX for this morning. So we'll just talk you through those quickly now. Now, the DAX has been on a bit of a mini rally this morning. And if we just look at the kind of the minus wings, just based on this 250 tick chart here, you can see that we've got a bit of a bearish, uh, sorry, a bit of a bullish trend happening here we did break a couple of these minor swings but we tested this second swing back and i've got a reaction here and we're now looking at testing yesterday's uh yesterday evening's high so that is going to be a potential zone spot to uh, interest sellers so we've got to be careful of that if we are looking to get long or, or are already long on the dax that is a zone of interest for sellers it's where they turned up yesterday certainly in the evening if we do manage to break out that and hold it, then you'd imagine that we're off to go test the uh, tops of this move somewhere in that 420 range. And uh, that would be a good target for buyers that got in long yesterday down here. So the idea for bulls was this one. And I put out a little GIF yesterday. If I just erase this and show what it was, we've got some pretty clear swings on this chart, uh, which you can see from these points here. Uh, I drew a line from, I believe it was, let's just try and f remember this. I think it was these two points down here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just sort of connected that up and then pulled an ACR line up to the action point here to find out where a potential reaction point would be down here if it goes uh, and breaks the center line, which it did, break it and switched it back. Um, I also pulled a balance point from this. I'm looking now at the middle line here to draw it through that gap and then look at where the reaction or the extension line is here down there. Nice bit of confluence of levels there. So I posted that out yesterday and just sort of said if we were going to go long, that might be an interesting spot. Stop underneath there and uh, look to target perhaps top of the valley somewhere at the 400 uh, or so level. So it looked interesting from a risk reward perspective and uh, at the moment, at least, it seems to be doing quite well. However, um, we'll continue to watch that. The bearish idea was just simply based on the fact that we do have 360, 370, some, somewhere in that zone, an interesting point for sellers. And we've also got that 425 zone as well, which is going to be acting as resistance. Um, so if we're looking to short this market, somewhere in that zone could be interesting. So a stop above the 400, uh, so the high cluster around here, somewhere shorting in that 365 zone to target a new low could be uh, another interesting move for the sellers. Um, I pulled a mod. No, I haven't. I pulled a regular shift fork based on these three mini pivots here. And uh, you'll notice that we just busted out the upper median line parallel of this. So um, I'll leave it there for the moment, but I might remove that if it is confirmed as dead. If we break above this high at 365. Okay, so that's the DAX for today. So um, I'm personally looking to retain a bullish overall bias as long as we stay above this major swing trend defining level, which is at 31.31, which is just based on these majors here. If we stay above that, I'll continue to look to buy. Um, but if we can't, it starts to get a little bit interesting. Um, looks like we've created a bit of a bookend here because we had a sharp move up here, followed by an equal sharply back down again to test this little area down here. So uh, buyers turned up here once upon a time already. It looks like they might have done the same thing again now. Um, so we'll continue to watch it. All right, so that's for the DAX. Just a quick look at the FTSE and the Dow as well, and uh, then we'll finish it up because it's Friday, and we're going to be moving on to the coding and programming webinar. So FTSE, two ideas that we've posted here, but if we just start with the daily chart to begin with, I was looking for a median line retracement on the daily chart. It looks like we've got that. We've just overshot it slightly, but we didn't quite get down to the 75, 95-ish level that I was after. Um, but it uh, looks like it's getting a reaction at the moment after we've just posted this doji beyond the balance point extension. And the two ideas that are out there at the moment are these. Now, just to remove that fork for now. I had this multi-pivot line drawn in expecting to see a retracement back to that level, which we've pretty much got right now. Um, we are starting to post a bit of a, a bearish trend here. High, low, lower high, lower low. Um, so whether or not this is a three count or a five, uh, we will soon see. 
We could get long at current levels with a stop underneath this low and uh, look to target the top of this uh, would be a valley. Um, gives you just under four to one on, on your money. Um, or you, equally, you could look to short on a test of this zone where sellers turned up previously, stop above that mini high, in the second pivot there, and uh, look to target a new load to count at pivot five. That would give you near on seven uh, to eight to one on your money. So that's on FTSE. A couple of interesting ideas setting up on that. Um, and now we had a daily price movement range trade, uh, which came in uh, two days ago, I believe it was. That was quite good. The next idea that I have for that, because it's around about 200 point range on the Dow <clears throat> in the day. So if we're looking at 200 points lower than current levels, it's around about 26, 225. If we tag that level today, it could be an interesting spot to buy to continue to follow the trend on this market. I'm certainly not looking to sell and I'm certainly not looking to buy at current levels. We're pretty much at the moon. All right, so that's it. Have a good, great trading day. Uh, we'll catch up with you again on Monday. And um, if you are premium, Remember, then stick around because we're now going to jump into the coding part of the course. Take care, guys.